Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the interface. Okay, so you have your basic buttons here that you probably recognize these. But anytime you put your mouse over them, they tell you what they are. So skip to start. This will be your play button, record, pause, stop, and skip to end. Okay, so those are straightforward. Now over here, we have our I bar. It's our selection tool. And then this is to envelope. So we can... And then here we have our envelope tool. We have our draw tool, zoom tool, time shift tool, and multi-tool mode. Okay, and over here we have our, this is our output level, and this is our input level, and then our channels left and right. Okay, and then over here we have our volume, and then we can turn it up and down here. Over here we have our input volume, Okay, and then these are our clipboard tools, so cut, copy, paste, trim audio, silence audio, and then undo and, undo and redo. And then here, sync lock, zoom in, zoom out, pit selection, and pit properties. Okay, so fairly straightforward there. Down here, we have our rate. Okay, this is our, our rate in hertz for the sound. This is where if we want to do a snap to a certain section, this is where we can s select it. So we can select start end, and this is our audio position. Okay, and then we have our menu up here. So our menu items will be different ones depending on what we're in here. Okay, we'll get to some more of these a little later on. Okay, so fairly simple interface to use. This is our work area down here. So the first thing we're going to do is go and set up how we want to record our voice. Now, if you're doing a podcast, you're usually going to want to have your voice in mono rather than in stereo. It's just a waste of bandwidth to have a podcast in stereo for your voice. And you can add music tracks to the voice as well, so there's not much point in having a stereo voice. But that's entirely up to you. If you want to record in stereo for your voice, you can do that. Now we're going to start recording our audio. Okay, so over here we have our microphone volume. You can see it's really low right now, so let's slide that up into the middle anyway. Okay, and then we would go ahead and record. So here we have our microphone, and this is our selection of microphones. It should bring up the default there. Same with our speakers, it should bring up the default speakers. Over here, whether we're mono or stereo. Okay, so for a podcast, you're most likely going to want to use mono, but again, that's up to you. Okay, and then all we have to do is hit the record button, and it will record our voice as we go. Now, as I'm recording, I'm going to make some mistakes, and I'm just going to say edit this out as my mistake so that I can show you how to use the editor to edit out your mistakes out of your voiceover. Okay, so let's hit record. And now you see it is recording our voice here. And it looks a little bit low level, so let's turn this up a bit. Okay, how's that? Still a little bit low. Okay, so let's edit this out. Now we can always increase the volume later, edit this part out. And then after we're done, all we have to do is hit stop. We can also pause it. Okay, so now it's not recording, of course, but as soon as I hit pause again, it'll resume. Okay, so now we're resuming our recording, and I'm going to edit this last little bit out. Okay, so there we have our first recording. Okay, so now we hit stop, and we now have our clip created. So if we were to hit play... So you can hear it there. And you can see up here, we have our left and right channels. Okay, so let's just pause that. All right, actually, I'll stop it. Okay, so we have our clip created. Now, what you can, you know, there are several things you can do with it along the way here. So let's get into some editing.
Okay, so now we're going to start editing our audio file. Now you see here, if we put our mouse down here, we can extend the audio file. So that gives us a bigger waveform to work with. So it's easier to see where we might want to edit out some space. So if we have some white space in there where there's a big gap, we can edit that out if it makes sense to do that. Okay, so now we're at the beginning. Let's listen forward. Okay, I know that you can barely hear this, but I'm going through it for myself to see where I have to edit things out. Okay, so right where it said, let's edit this out, we have, we'll select our eye bar up here, and then we'll come down here and click in there. Now, we can move this. Let's just play it from there and see if we're in the right spot here. Okay, so what we can do is put our little hand on there. Play. And we were a little too close over on this side, so let's just pull this back. Okay, so we've now selected this area, so let's Okay, so now all we have to do is hit the delete key. So we selected that, and that area has been removed. Okay, so let's go here, hit play. Okay, so then again, we had to edit this part out. take some of this blank space with it here. So let's have a listen. Okay, so let's hit the delete key. Okay, so again, here. Okay, so we take that out of there. Okay, so now let's hit this up here. That takes us back to the beginning. So now we have our recording there. I see down here that we can move this line to get us across the, the recording. Now at the beginning here, we also have the space, the white space at the beginning here that we might not want. So let's hit play and then hit delete. Okay, and then we have another big pause over here. Listen. Okay, let's delete that one out of there. And we have another one over here. Now you may want these in here, it's up to you. So you should listen and make sure that the pause is that you want it removed, that it's not an appropriate pause. Okay, so let's listen again. Big space. Okay, so you just go along like that, edit out your mistakes plus any big gaps that you want to take out of there. Okay, now let's just select a, a space. It doesn't matter where. I'm just going to select this piece right, right now. I'm going to select the piece there. Now you see we have a zoom tool here. So if we click on that, and then we click in here. Okay, so that's taken that area, and it has zoomed it in for us. Okay, now we can also zoom it normal. So if we zoom normal, it takes it right back where it was here. Just scoot along here. 
and then back into view, we can zoom out. Okay, so it's control one, control two, control three, and zoom to selection. Okay, so control three, we're zooming back out again. Okay, so that's how you can do some more fine work on an audio track is by zooming in and just picking a very small piece of it if you want to do that. Okay, now you also have your zoom tools here, so zoom in and zoom out at that end. Okay, now say you want to silence a piece of audio. Let's move this. Let's say we want, we have a little space here, but there might be a little bit of noise in there, but we want the space. It actually is quiet, but what you can do is you can come over here and you can silence the audio. So if we click that, it silences the audio in the space that we have selected here. So if you have a couple of clips in there or something, you can take those out like that. Okay, so let's, let's pick a spot here. Now, you see up here we have effects, and there are many different effects in here that you can use on the selection. But let's go up up top here. It's a little out of the frame, but it says Amplify. Okay, so Amplification, and this is in DB. Okay, so we can take this and slide it. To change the amplitude of the wave. Okay, and hit preview. It looks a little bit low level, so. Okay, so that is quite a bit louder than what we had before there. Okay, so we cancel that. Now, let's listen. You'll see that it's much quieter. Okay, so that is how you can do some amplification to your track. Okay, so it's a good idea to save your work, so let's do that. We'll do a file, and you can do Save Project or Save Project As. Save Project As will let you save it to a directory or a selected directory right away. So it's just telling us here that this is an Audacity file and, or project, and it's the only program that can open it. We get needed to use an export if we want to do something else. So let's click OK here. Okay, and then let's give it a name here. Let's call it Test. There we go. So we now save that. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to go over some more advanced functions and we'll add some audio to it.